This episode is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, and they have over 100,000 titles available for download. Visit audibletrial.com slash the scald circle to begin your trial and download your free audiobook today. It's time to relax, grab a drink, pull up a chair by the hearth, and have a seat in the scald circle and listen to the tale of Teeny Tiny from English folklore, as told by Minogan. Before we begin our story, we wanted to remind you that we release new tales for free every week. Our shorter tales release on Wednesdays, and our longer chapter stories release on every other Saturday. Find out where you can hear them on our website at thescaldcircle.com. And be certain to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. That way, you'll never miss out on one of our enchanting tales from around the world. In addition to our reminder, we have some exciting news for the month of July. You've likely noticed that our format sounds a bit different. Not only that, but you may have heard, in addition to our story releases on Wednesdays, we will also now be releasing longer, chapter-length stories on every other Saturday. As if that isn't exciting enough, starting on July 9th, we will begin hosting Fireside Stories with the Scald Circle at 7pm Central Time, every other Thursday. Our Fireside Stories will be a live stream of Casimir and I regaling you with tales that you may have never heard before, along with some of our witty banter. So if you want to experience what a live show from the Scald Circle is like, that may be of interest to you. You can find out more details under the events section on our website. Now then, without further ado, this is Teeny Tiny. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny woman who lived in a teeny tiny house in a teeny tiny village. Now one day, this teeny tiny woman put on her teeny tiny bonnet and went out of her teeny tiny house to take a teeny tiny walk. And when this teeny tiny woman had gone a teeny tiny way, she came to a teeny tiny gate. So the teeny tiny woman opened the teeny tiny gate and went into a teeny tiny churchyard. And when this teeny tiny woman had got into the teeny tiny churchyard, she saw a teeny tiny bone on a teeny tiny grave. And the teeny tiny woman said to her teeny tiny self, This teeny tiny bone will make me some teeny tiny soup for my teeny tiny supper. So the teeny tiny woman put the teeny tiny bone into a teeny tiny pocket and went home to a teeny tiny home. Now, when the teeny tiny woman got home to her teeny tiny house, she was a teeny tiny bit tired, so she went up to her teeny tiny stairs to her teeny tiny bed and put the teeny tiny bone into a teeny tiny cupboard. And when this teeny tiny woman had been asleep a teeny tiny time, she was awakened by a teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard which said, Give me my bone! And this teeny tiny woman was a teeny tiny bit frightened, so she hid her teeny tiny head under the teeny tiny clothes and went to sleep again. And when she had been asleep a teeny tiny time again, the teeny tiny voice again cried out from the teeny tiny cupboard a teeny tiny bit louder, Give me my bone! This made the teeny tiny woman a teeny tiny more frightened, so she hid her teeny tiny head a teeny tiny further under the teeny tiny clothes. And when the teeny tiny woman had been asleep again a teeny tiny time, the teeny tiny voice from under the teeny tiny cupboard said again a teeny tiny louder, Give me my bone! And this teeny tiny woman was a teeny tiny bit more frightened, but she put a teeny tiny head out over the teeny tiny clothes and said in her loudest teeny tiny voice, Take it! And that is the tale of Teeny Tiny from English Folklore. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, we recommend taking a look at our Patreon page as noted in the description below. You can earn great rewards while also supporting us to keep these stories alive for future generations to come. Also remember to subscribe to us on your podcast application and leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed this story. A special thank you to Kat for their support this month. Without your contribution, we wouldn't be able to continue these stories, and we truly appreciate it. Visit thescaldcircle.com to stay up to date with all of our current events, news, and much more. Not only that, but you can also visit our story archive of every tale we have told. It's sorted by origin and region for the convenience of your listening pleasure. Thank you for listening to our story. Don't forget... 
This episode is sponsored by Audible, the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. While this story is over, you can still visit audibletrial.com slash the scald circle to begin your trial and download your free audiobook today. Let us know what you've listened to recently on Audible via our Facebook page. We're always looking for new recommendations.